No one's in here at Carver Steakhouse. Good stuff in here, yeah. Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. Join us at Carver Steakhouse in Orange Beach, Alabama for our restaurant review videos of good places to eat in Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, and the Gulf Coast. Carver Steakhouse is located in Orange Beach in a strip mall at 25775 Perdido Beach Boulevard, Suite B. Many people rank the Carver Steakhouse as one of the top places to get steak in Orange Beach and even Gulf Shores, Alabama. Carver Steakhouse has great steak, seafood, appetizers, and desserts, along with sometimes hosting live music. This Carver Steakhouse food review will show you how nice the restaurant and steaks are. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So when you're doing your Gulf Coast vacation planning, make sure to look at Carver Steakhouse as one of your dining in Orange Beach and Gulf Shores options for an above average atmosphere that's a bit more sophisticated than many of the other restaurants in the area. If you're looking for a more upscale dining experience in Orange Beach, this is one of the nicer places to eat in the Orange Beach and Gulf Shores area. Your trip to the Gulf Coast can certainly use a visit to Carver Steakhouse and Orange Beach during your visit. So this place was really crowded until we head out on their patio where there was a lot of space, but they had no staff working out on the patio. So you got a drink and bring it out here, but you couldn't get any service out here. So every place is still pretty short-handed with staff, and that seems to be every spot that I visited. But they did have live music, so that was a great addition. And there was quite a wait to eat at one of the tables, but there was space at the bar, so I went with the bar seating. So let's go ahead and take a look at the menu now and see what we're gonna get. So we have soups with lobster bisque and soup du jour. And they have a selection of salads with Caesar salad, wedge salad, house salad. And then we have oysters with raw or char grilled. Then starters with coconut shrimp, flash fried lobster tail, Louisiana style crab cakes, bacon wrapped quill, hand breaded onion rings, spinach and artichoke dip, sweet chili fried calamari, stuffed portobello mushrooms, and seafood salads with wood plank salmon Caesar salad, ahi tuna salad, and grilled shrimp or Caesar salad. Then we have steaks and chops with center cut sirloin, eight ounces, filet mignon, eight ounces, New York strep, 12 ounce, porterhouse, 20 ounce, ribeye, 14 ounce, pork tomahawk, a herb crusted prime rib, a rack of lamb, and we have enhancements with a lobster tail, a crab cake, a shrimp skewer, or wild sauteed mushrooms. Then we have Beyond Steaks with cedar plank salmon, ahi tuna, twin lobster tails, char grilled shrimp, barbecue chicken, Carver's chicken. Then sandwiches with chop house burger, Carver burger, chicken club, ribs and combos with barbecue baby back ribs, grilled chicken and shrimp. And then we have a selection of their sides. Then we get to the wine page. They have a selection of their house wines. And then we have a nice selection of white wines and getting into champagne sparkling wine. And then a good selection of their red wines. Next, we have a selection of their martinis of various types. And then we have their specialty cocktails. And then their coffee selection. So we started out with some really delicious looking bread here. I do love some dark bread with some butter. And ooh, it looks really nice inside when you slice it open. Lots of good grains and all my things in there that I do love about a good dark bread. I'm gonna get this butter to spread on here. It's fighting me a little bit, but I succeeded finally. So let's give it a taste and see how it is. Oh, oh yes. Oh nice hearty piece of bread and I could definitely use a snack. So uh, this is the last place we tried after all the other places had two and three hour waits to get in. So we're really happy to find this spot after a day at the beach. So my dining companion got the filet mignon with the mashed potatoes which looks delicious and I got the 20 ounce porterhouse with mixed vegetables and what a monster steak this is. <laughs> This will be a challenge to eat. So I got it medium rare. It looks like it should be medium rare. Um, 
So we're uh, definitely gonna have a lot of meat to eat here. So we've got a lot of work to go. And uh, this is gonna be quite an effort to eat all of this meat. So we're definitely having a little meat fest here. Now the uh, meat seems just a uh, bit on the dry side to my taste. So it seems maybe that it's slightly overcooked, although it looks like it's mostly medium rare. I think uh, it might have been cooked a little bit more than it should have been to keep it at that uh, nice medium rare juicy level. But I'm not getting as much juiciness as I would expect from a steak like this. And if you look at my plate, it's not really uh, getting much juice in it either. This is a uh, much drier steak. Now, this could be the specific cut of meat. Maybe I lost the meat lottery. Uh, but I have to say, this thing is uh, actually lacking in a lot of meaty flavor. So I'm not getting a lot of juicy, delicious meatiness. And it's uh, a bit on the drier side. Now, there's a couple pieces that are a little more moist and juicy than others, but on average, most of the pieces of steak that I'm eating definitely are tending towards more on the dry side, and I most certainly am craving a lot more juicy flavor on my steak than I'm getting here. And uh, wow, I've never had a steak this large that didn't have more juice come out on the plate here. This is uh, overall a pretty dry plate for the size of steak that this was, so hmm, I don't know what's going on here. So, maybe it's the method of cooking they use here, or some other magical mystery that I'm not aware of. Uh, I certainly have had worse steaks, but I've also had better steaks. So, for uh, a place specializing in steaks, I did expect this to be a little bit better than it was, I have to say. Although my dining companion's filet mignon was fantastic, so... Hey, just luck of the draw, and maybe I should have gotten a filet instead of the monster porterhouse. And these vegetables are okay. They're just some steamed veggies. So nothing special about these. It's an okay side, nice and healthy. Keep me in beach body shape. So, oh, I think I might have preferred being a little more naughty and getting some mashed potatoes or another one of the other sides, but I'm being very good. So I totally destroyed this steak, so go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this monster porterhouse. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account, because hey, I work for tips, and appreciate any assistance with that. So the total for my dining companion and myself was $87.95 before tip. And for that price, I would have expected my steak to be a bit more juicy. But the filet mignon was fantastic. So just luck of the draw of the steaks, I'd say, overall. And thanks so much to everybody at Carver Steakhouse for getting us in so quick while everywhere else was super backed up at the beach. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning in to the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you could just remember to share this video with any of your friends and contacts that would enjoy it, I really would appreciate it and it really would help me. And remember to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.